in uh, first chapter is samadhi mada samadhi means super conscious states super conscious states are not beyond reach many of you would have experienced super conscious state in prayer uh, in your meditation even during the asanas just now we could have experienced some moments of super consciousness it is not beyond our reach it is within our reach only thing is that to identify it comes and to remain calm and not over excited when it comes so the the state of being sober is maintained this knowledge what knowledge nana knowledge good knowledge proper knowledge knowledge of the truth reality is different from knowledge acquired testimony inference because it has a special object testimony is also a source of information and somebody gives you testimony about the experience it is also a source of knowledge but it's difficult to verify whether it has complete truth in it or not but if the person has impeccable characteristics and reputation then the testimony is more reliable but if you don't have the knowledge of the person's characteristics nor their history then testimony cannot be relied upon same inference if there is smoke somewhere you see smoke and then you infer that is fire but sometimes it could be someone just yeah it could be haze or it could be the spray which we you know the spray for dengue what you call that what you call that spray for dengue for dengue so it is some kind of an illusion if it is far away then we infer oh there is smoke therefore something is on fire in the again inference is not perfect is not a perfect source of knowledge testimony is not perfect inference is not perfect but these are the two which we have relied on so much it could be it could be that everything right now and this could be frightening to maybe even to ponder maybe wrong the everything that you have thought about that you believe in could be absolutely wrong could be illusion in totality you just wake up from the illusion and that is enlightenment so it is not actually accumulation of knowledge enlightenment is not an accumulation of knowledge it is just realizing the truth which has always been there but it has been hidden in layers and layers of illusion so this is what this particular sutra talks about that at all times as long as we are awake continue to be awake wake up from the deep slumber which is activated through and you will be surprised through the practices of hatha yoga hatha yoga has a very big role in the attainment of enlightenment and i am very sure that many of those who have attained enlightenment in the past in the history of mankind prehistory had some form of physical practice without the physical practice saying that i have attained enlightenment could be another inference or testimony that comes from within it gain another form of illusion so that going into a systematic practice which is very physical in nature wakes us up otherwise it's just kind of a again sleep slumber i don't have to do any work the, the body the mind is has a superior consciousness how to support the superior consciousness in a sick body we'll talk about maybe some scientists who has some kind of you know physical defect but was able to experience some form of cosmic consciousness no that is intellectual journey samadhi state is a physiological physical actual experience and that is called samadhi dynamic consciousness born of that state prevents other states of consciousness other states of consciousness no matter how spectacular 
no matter how beautiful philosophically poetically scientifically cannot determine truth truth is a personal experience and that personal experience is not a speculative experience it is sitting down there after your asanas after your pranayama after your prayers sitting down there and then going deep inside that going deep inside is not you it is that state bringing you and then you are experiencing those spectacular states there's those states which are beyond any other experience that you have had it cannot be something you have been imagining because you really feel it you are really experiencing that which is happening inside you it is so overwhelming but because your practices and your fundamentals are so strong you are not shaken you are not thrown off your danger you are not thrown off your balance you are still steady because of the investment that you have done in the practices so when the mind explores deeper and deeper states of samadhi because of your physical exercise of asanas and your pranayama your central nervous system is able to maintain its steadiness otherwise it will lead to a breakdown the central nervous system may not be able to take the intense experience so that the practices need to be structured so that when samadhi is being experienced the central nervous system is still steady so dynamic consciousness born of that prevents other states of other states of consciousness means the illusions that come in many readings and studies we find that a particular ever comes in a particular saint attains enlightenment and the downlines the disciple starts to create stories that when this particular saint was experiencing levels of enlightenment the demons come and disturb them all the heavens or the sky is open and then some kind of blessings come all of that are the other states these are called illusions these are called speculations the illusions and the speculations are so are so strong that they seem real as long as you don't you don't condemn you don't criticize in a negative way any other religion or any other culture you can and say the right you have the right to say the truth and they are individuals in this world who defend to their death your right to say the truth and this was uh, some, one of the british philosophers mentioned this that i will defend to my death your right to say the truth even if it is a criticism against me see how how they have attained that kind of maturity can you sit down with five people and say anything and everything that comes from your mouth from your heart and this the other four are unperturbed undisturbed even if it is challenging the core of their belief this is actual maturity if you can get four or five people like that you are truly on the on the destiny towards complete self realization so we will talk about that thank you very much namaskar